makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. There was a vote on the House floor over providing $1 billion in funding for Israel's Iron Dome anti-missile defense system. And, well, any issue that involves the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is one that is dear to the hearts of most progressives. And the, uh, the blatant U.S. support for Israel, including funding that, frankly, is unnecessary, given that Israel is a developed economy, it's wealthy enough to be able to pay for its for its uh, toys, uh, there's really no reason why the U.S. should be should be funding Israelis' military. But anyway, um, if there is one thing that unites both Democrats and Republicans, it is support for Israel, unconditional support for Israel. So, as expected, this was a bill that passed very, very easily. Um, and there was only a handful of people who voted no and most of them were members of the squad. But there was one name that was notable for his absence among the Nei votes, and that was AOC. So reports have emerged that um, AOC was visibly distraught after voting present, which is the equivalent of abstaining. And she was the only one aside from Jamal Bowman, who, who actually voted yes. He was the only squad member who voted yes. Uh, all the other ones voted no. But there is something rather strange, which is that she basically had originally voted no, and then at the very last minute changed her vote. So here are a series of tweets that show, uh, give these videos of what happened, those final minutes of the vote. And this is very, you know, I, I'm not a fan of conspiracy theories, but I would really love to know what's going on here. And let's watch. I should add, there is hardly any sound in these videos. So we'll just have to guess what's going on. So pay attention here in this corner. The person in pink is Nancy Pelosi. And AOC is somewhere behind here. You can't really see her just yet. She just appeared. That's her face. Um, but we will see her later. So they're having a very heated discussion. And we don't know what it's about. And if you look at the current scoreboard, it is, it's nine yays. So that includes AOC's no vote at this moment. But yeah, like I said, there is a very big debate going on. Um, you know, Nancy Pelosi is being very expressive here. Um, so there are suspicions of, you know, what this, this debate is about, why she changed her vote. Could it be uh, because of, you know, redistricting? Could it be because of funding? Could it be, oh, now she's waving her hand at the podium. Uh, so I don't know if she's like asking them to, to not yet close the voting. Um, there's also talk about her mulling a possible Senate run in which she would challenge Chuck Schumer. Whatever the case is, there is a debate going on here. And yeah, in, in this video, we will still not see the change in the vote. This is merely the, but, but she, she's still making gestures towards the podium. So something's going on. And Nancy Pelosi looks a bit exasperated, frustrated. Whoever the, the blonde one is, I don't know who she is, but she's also clearly uh, exasperated as well. AOC looks also very frustrated. She's making, they're all making notable hand gestures. And that's pretty much the end of this video. So yeah, so that's the, the sort of AOC and Pelosi debate. Now let's watch the second video. Again, there is no sound until the very end.
So now Pelosi is arguing with some other people, but AOC is still in that corner. The vote still has not changed. So she looks like she's, this looks like Cory Bush. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, now she's going to the podium. And now is when she is apparently changing her vote. And she's back. Um, I'm generally curious who the blonde one is. If anyone can put that in the comments, I would be helpful. Because clearly, the debate is still going on. Okay. Yeah. On this vote, the yeas are 420. The nays are nine, with two recorded as present, two-thirds being in the affirmative. The rules are suspended. The bill is passed. And without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Pursuant to Clause 1C of Rule 19, further consideration of H.R. 4350 will now resume. So there you have it. Um, what was that debate all about? I would love to know. Um, one can only make conjectures, but it seems weird because, to be honest, the her the reason that she that she changed her vote like was irrelevant to the to the overall result. I mean, there was there was no chance that this bill would have passed anyway. There was no chance that she would have derailed it. So she held absolutely zero leverage over what happened here. So yeah, what what uh what could that discussion have been? What what did she gain? That's the question. What did she gain from changing her vote? Um and and yeah, like I said, the, the conjectures are something involving redistricting, whatever. So regardless of what she may have want, gotten from this, whoever is making those concessions did not need to make those concessions. You know what I mean? So what was this all about? I do not know. Um, as to whether, you know, the original question, because... Now all the all the right wingers and dum dum leftists are running on this and seeing this as proof that she is not a, a true progressive. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll say what I said in the video of, of the dress. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of AOC to be honest. I, I do recognize that there is a uncomfortably large element of performativeness to her politics. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, and, you know, compared to the AOC when she was running for her position or early on, she is much less radical, much less uh, revolutionary as she was back then. And, you know, maybe she should have toned herself down back then to not overpromise and end up under delivering. But whatever the reason... Uh, I don't know that this is a sign that she is a fraud, as, as many people would, would like to think of her. Uh, I just think something went on here. Maybe we'll know in the next couple of days, maybe we won't. But something was going on there that made her change her vote. So, yeah. Whatever that might be. And if you like this video, please like, please share, most importantly subscribe and happy Friday.